Okay, see if you can do this Venn diagram problem. Um, given a packet of cards, um, we're, we're going to pick out two cards at random. What is the probability that both of these cards will be uh, clubs, hearts, or picture cards? So, for, for example, um, the picture cards are all these cards here. Uh, clubs are these here. Uh, hearts are these here. Okay, so we're going to pick out two cards um, at random. What is the probability that both of these cards will be will be clubs, hearts, or picture cards? So, for example, hang on. Uh, for example, for example, let's say we 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 pick we're, we're going to pick out two cards. Let's say um, uh, this one here, and let's say this one here. Okay, um, so so. Again, something that looks complicated. Break it down. So both cards being clubs or hearts or picture. Well, or means the the union of the two. So for example, if but basically or means what? Well, hand. Let, let's say we're going to pick the six of clubs here. Well, we want clubs or hearts or picture. Well, this is a a, a club already. So so already. So a good out. This here is a good good outcome. Um, well, a spade here, uh, spade, well, don't forget, we want a card where it, where it's clubs or hearts or picture. Well, spade is not, um, not any of these. Uh, so, so this would be a bad outcome. And then you, you've got to look at this, both cards being, being, being all these here. Well, you've only got one, well, it, it wants both cards. So, so overall, this will be, this would be a bad outcome because we've only got well it wants both cards to be to be good okay so so for example if, if we pick out i don't know let's say this card here uh and uh and let's say uh this card here okay um uh th this well it uh, remember br break it down so it's well clubs or hearts or picture so well this card here is a picture card so this is good um, uh, and this card here, well, it, clubs or hearts, well, it's a heart, isn't it? So it's, it's a good outcome. And then if you look at this, both cards, well, both of these are, are, are good. So therefore, overall, this would be a good outcome. Okay. So we, we're going to pick out two cards at random. Um, what is the probability that both of the, both of those cards well, will be clubs or hearts or a picture card? Okay. So, uh, Press pause and work it out. Uh, re wait, wait, wait. Before you do that, um, just remember, you've, uh, in order to answer this question, um, well, you know there's an overlap somewhere. Um, there's an overlap. So, so jump to the Venn diagram. And, and because you're picking out more than one card, then, then you might have to draw the tree diagram. And then combine the Venn diagram with the tree diagram to work, to answer this question. Okay, so um, now press pause and have a go. Okay, uh, let's let's draw the Venn diagram for this. Um, picture. Uh, remember, it's all well. We've got three ores, so well, th well, two ores, but we've we've got three parts, and they're all ores. So so um, hang on, let's let's see. Clubs would be all these here. Uh, hearts would be all these here. So you can see there's there's an overlap here. So let's draw our Venn diagram. So this could represent uh, clubs. Uh, this could represent hearts, and uh, and this one here could re uh, ugly. Sorry, hang on. This one here could represent um, a picture pick. Okay. Um, so hang on. Uh, so so oh, hang on. Uh, we need the okay. So how many clubs are there? There are thirteen clubs. Uh, 13 clubs, but, but three or, or picture. So, 13 clubs, but three or picture. Wait there, 13 clubs, three or picture. So, I'm going to put the three in here, 10 over here. Um, and, uh, hang on. Let's, let's, let's tackle the hearts now. Our uh, hearts, 13 hearts, three or picture. So, thir uh, so 13 hearts, so, so 10 and three here. Are there any hearts and clubs? Well, if, if you look at this, hearts and clubs, they're, they're mutually exclusive. That means there's, there's no overlap. So, um, there's no overlap. So there's no card that, 
that that's a heart and a club. Um, any cards that's a heart, club, and a picture, well, um, no, well, no, basically no. Okay, picture cards. Well, there are there are twelve picture cards. Uh, three. Uh, hang on, hearts. Let me think about this. Sorry. Uh, picture cards. Okay. Uh, so, so picture cards, there, there are 12 picture cards, three here, uh, three here, so, so that's six. So that, that, that leaves, um, uh, hang on, tw so that, that, that leaves six over here. Because, uh, if you think about it, uh, look, just looking at picture cards, so, so that's, that's these here, um, three are clubs, uh, three are hearts. So there, well, three here and three here. So it must be a six here. Okay. And, uh, and if you think about it, there's ten here. Well, well, we, we are talking about other now. So on, um, on the empty side. So, so this, this here would be ten. This here would be ten. So that's twenty out here. Okay. So, so this is our, our diagram. So let's, um, let's, let's check that everything adds up to fifty-two. So twenty, thirty, for 40, uh, and then, uh, 12. Yeah. So everything adds up to 52. Now that we've got our Venn diagram, then, then we can answer, we can start to analyze it, um, with, with a lot more ease. So here, clubs or, or hearts or picture. So basically, we want the, the union of, uh, of all three. The union. Re remember, union is, is like, um, well, the, the union, well, if you have three events here, one, two, three, the union would be all of them merged together. Okay? So the union would be everything in here. So, so hang on. Um, so hang on. So, so let's, let's draw our, our, our tree diagram. On, on the first card, we could pick, well, it could be good or it could be bad. Okay? Good being, uh, being the, the cards that, that falls in, into the, into these conditions here. Okay, so good, well, good would be, um, well, remember, good is the union of all three. So it would be this plus this, which is 20, uh, 26, uh, 30, 32. So it would be, uh, 32, uh, 32 over, over, uh, 52. Okay. Well, if, if good, uh, is, is 32, then, then bad would be 20. 20 over 52. Now the probability of us getting a good, uh, well, let, let's say we, we've just picked out a good card. Now the probability of getting another good card would be, um, would be 31 out of 51. The probability would, of get, well, after getting a good card, probability of getting a bad card would be, uh, would be what? Sorry, hang on, let me think. Uh, would be 20 out of 51. Okay, so, uh, pro uh pro well, we just picked out a bad card here. Uh, probability of you getting a, a good card on the next one will be 32 out of 51. The less, now, now that you've just picked out a bad card, the probability of you getting another bad card would be 19 out of 50, uh, 51. Now, uh, the, the initial condition, uh, well, the initial question was, both cards being blah 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 blah. So we want both cards. So it has there's only one branch that we're interested in because because it's saying both cards. If if it's saying at least one, then 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 there might be other branches. But because it's saying both cards, so it has to be good and good. So to answer the question, we need probability of good and good. So that equals this and this. So it will it would be um, it would be 32 over 52 times uh, 31 over over 51. So let's jump to a calculator. Hang on. So uh, calculator. So so that would be uh, thir top times top. So 31 times so 32 times 31 equals uh, 992. And bottom times bottom, um, 52 times 51 equals 2652, 2652. So this will be your final answer. 
but let's let's convert it to a decimal. So uh, so nine nine two divided by twenty six fifty two equals equals uh, zero point three seven. So let me double check. Uh, yep. Yeah. So so the problem the uh, so hang on, hang on, 0.37. So the probability of this would be 0.37. So if, if you were to pick out uh, two cards at random, the probability of getting both cards being clubs or hearts or picture, uh, it would be uh, 0.37. Or you can say roughly uh, 37%. Okay.